The East Bay this morning, it was really socked in and could mm. barely make out the sign saying dense fog. <laughs> <laughs> well, and here's the thing, though, that dense fog is going to really do us well. I think just having a little bit of moisture in the yeah. air leading into what is going to be a really hot week, huh, Dave? Yeah, particularly by the middle of the week, those temperatures inland will be pushing beyond 100 and maybe beyond 105 as well. When you get to Contra Costa County and to Solano County, that's where the usual heat spikes uh, usually hover out a little bit. Nice to have this fog around, too, as a fire repellent as well. There it is in the East Bay shoreline, as you can see, and that's also at the coast, too. Expect tonight a little bit of the repeat of some drizzle going on, not just places like the Golden Gate, but if you're near water at all, that means the bay, the coast, you might see a little bit of that that drizzle going on in the dead of night that'll all clear out as soon as the sun joins us those temperatures lower to middle 60s picking off the east bay antioch 67 livermore about 61 on balance we're looking for temperatures to be pretty close to what they were from yesterday particularly inland might be a little bit of variation here near the coast let's go ahead and do this here on futurecast 4 not particularly Real exciting, but it does show you a little bit of that drizzle that's kind of hanging around here. It's not quite the rain event we'd like. We'd like a nice stratus rain overnight, but at least it's here. The fog is checking in. Now, as we get into Tuesday morning now, overnight Monday, we're not going to see too much development to greet us Tuesday morning or uh, into Monday night. So we're going to start Tuesday off a little bit more on the, the clearer side, comparatively speaking. There's Tuesday morning by 5 a.m. We don't see a lot around the bay here, so it'll be mostly sunny to start things off already. And you'll start feeling that heat inland as early as about Wednesday. Here's the future cast winds. Uh, we have that breeze going on inland. We'll see the same thing happening on our Monday into the afternoon hours. Pretty good coverage this go around. You can see it along the North Bay Peninsula and off to the East Bay as well. So the low down on what we have going on, this shot again, the East Bay shoreline, the fog mixing out. The morning fog will give way to scattered Bay Area clouds. So when you get inland, you may not see as much of this going on here. Mild temp, 70s at the Bay, 80s inland. We can dig it. Early in the week there, mild Monday, warming on Tuesday. This is when inland you're going to start feeling those numbers moving. And the heat spikes with us by Wednesday through Friday. That means temperatures 100 plus will not be unheard of. And 80s will ha uh, cover the bay. Even some 90s poking out here and there in the usual suspected areas. Fremont, a little bit of that. You might see that to the south like that. Then after this, the inland areas will start to relax a bit, but we might start to see some lofty 90s as late as next weekend. 67, San Francisco, 71 for Oakland. Again, some Bay Area scattered clouds. 78 going on San Jose across the wider bay. There we see the temperatures in the lower 80s off to the East Bay. Up in the North Bay here, pretty much behaving themselves in the upper 70s and 78 San Jose. Of course, coming up in a bit, we'll check out that four-zone forecast and the extended as hot as it'll be. Marty Noel. All right, Dave, thanks a lot. Back